Hmm, what to play, what to play. Uh, go for Friday the 13th? Nah, just play Dead Lot. Dead by Dead Lot, yeah. Sure. Nah, not gonna play that. Battlefront? Nah. Nah. There's, there's nothing really that's in interesting me here right now. Let, let, I want to play some older games. Let, let, let me just... Let, let me check for... My older games. It could be interesting. It would be interesting. Uh, Might and Magic, sure. Walter Ring. <gasps> oh my god. I want to play that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm, that's, that's what I'm gonna play. Exciting. This PC. Oh my god, install. Yes, please. Yes, please. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, I can't wait to play this game. Would you like to launch it? Of course, game. Why shouldn't I? Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, I can't wait! I'm still waiting! Wait, that's it? It's gone? Alright, let me try to run this as administrator. What the fuck, man? Alright, auto run. Let's try that. Play. Yes, please. What the fuck? Is there nothing working here? Why game? Why do you have to be mad? It's only game. We just want to play and have fun. Why can you not let us have fun? God fucking damn it! So what is going on guys? It's Goofy here. And welcome to this fix of Lord of the Rings The Battle for Middle Earth 2. Um, I know this works on Windows 10 because I've tried it before on my older computer, but if my research is correct, um, it should work on Windows 7 and 8 as well. So what you're gonna do to start the fix, you're gonna go into your search bar down here and search for folder options. This one, file explore options. Then you're gonna go to the second bar here, it's called view. And then you're gonna make sure that this box here uh, hide extensions for known file types are crossed off and apply alright and then you're gonna go find uh, this PC right here then you're gonna locate your game uh, most people have is located on your C drive because that's your default and I has as well you're just gonna click on that gonna click on users and your username and then you're gonna go into app data but on your computer, there might not be this app data folder you can click on because it's hidden. So what you're gonna do to unhidden it is you're gonna go to properties, gonna cross cross off the uh, the hidden box right here, and you're just gonna press apply. Make sure that this is that the the bottom one is the one that's crossing off. Say the apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files and just gonna click OK and continue. Well then you're just gonna wait. Um there is another way to unhidden your hidden folders, but I did that last time but I <laughs> but gonna be honest I can't find it, so this is the best way you can do it. So we're just gonna wait for all the 
files to get hidden. Well, and then there is nothing here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove the the check and apply. Make sure it's the number two that's crossed down. Or that's crossed off. I mean, press OK, continue just as before, and then it's gonna open all the folders, even the hidden ones. So we're just gonna wait. And wait, and wait. And you're gonna click OK, and then all the things should be here. So you're gonna go into App Data, gonna go into Roaming. And then you're gonna locate my game. You can see here I have two games. It's because I have uh, the expansions too. You can see right here. So we're gonna uh, show you the expansions. It works for the the game without the expansion too. But we're gonna show you with. I'm gonna show you with the expansions. I'm gonna click here. So you're gonna go in here and make and gonna create a text document right here and you're gonna call it options uh, dot i and i i'm gonna click everywhere on the screen and then you're gonna have to press yes and then you have to make sure that there is this little gear here and uh, if there isn't a little a gear when you just did what i did that's when the uh, default options come play this one we did earlier in the first step so when you're in here you're gonna click it and you're gonna make sure it's open as a notepad if it's not you're gonna just open with notepad right there and then you're gonna insert uh, insert a lot of settings here it's gonna be down in the description down below and you're gonna make sure that your resolution right here is uh, is what your monitor resolution is. So mine is 1920 to 1080. So that's okay. And then you're just gonna go file and save. And that should be it. File save, and then we should could open the game. But now. Gets a little freaky because I couldn't see. Um, never mind. So, so far, so good. Oh my god, these sounds bring back so many memories.
All right, so far so good. So it looked like it's working perfectly. So let's just gonna open. Uh, yeah, doesn't matter. We're just gonna try a game to see if it works in game. Gonna skip that for now. We just want to see if the actual game is working or is, uh, if it's just the cinematics. Before Arnor can be invaded. Here, among these dark peaks, we will build a stronghold to bring ruin to the North Kingdom. Oh, so far, there so good. There is great good. evil in this place. Amazing. Especially the Black Numenorians. Men whose dark loyalty is under fire for dominion. We must rekindle. What's this? A warrior troll who fights like a trained swordsman. He would make a useful servant, indeed. All right, and you can the see we are in game now. We can move him. around with our characters. We can do everything we want to. We can go try to kill these bastards. We can just just do everything what we want. So yeah, why the fuck not? So yeah, that's just to see that it works, so we can just exit that for now. So that's it guys, I hope uh, the fix works for you, it definitely worked for me. And as I said, it works for the original edition as well, and it should work. On Windows 7, on Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 as well. So, guys, if this fix worked for you, or you like this video, please go down and click the like button down below. If you're at all new to this channel, please click the subscribe button. While just that, click on the little bell next to it to turn on notifications to be notified every single time I upload a video. And if you want me to do some gameplay on my gaming channel with... Uh, the Battle for Middle Earth, let me know down in the comments. And with all that said, guys, GG.